Hey guys, it's Erin, and I am back with another Mixed Media Menagerie. As you know, this is an ongoing collaboration with Laura, Nicole, and myself. Each month, we choose this fun, strange collection of things. We have a color, we use supplies, we have a theme, and then we each have ephemera drops. Um, that we kind of gift to each other. So as you know, we always use the Dina Wickley Blue Media Journal. This month we have fiber paste, graphite sticks, or any water-soluble graphite, and then of course the FM. And this month we decided we're going to start doing a giveaway. So here are the rules. You can play along with us, and every month we will choose one person who will be gifted one of the ephemera packs that we get every month to create with. So if you'd like to play along, make sure that you post and use the hashtag so you can be entered. Now let's dive into these goodies. This month was Laura's drop, and there is some coffee there. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. There's a cool map. Um, lots and lots of lovely bits. Now again, if you want to receive a surprise little package from one of us to play with, then you definitely want to grab some of your supplies. You mostly just want to make sure you're using the same materials. Just do the best you can. Use what you have on hand. Just play along and you could have a chance to win a goodie pack full of supplies like this one. So there's so much here. I'm not really sure where I want to go, but I'm going to stick with my prompts here. It's a person. We've got coffee. We've got the fiber paste. Let's get playing. So to begin with, I drew up a girl and I just grabbed a magazine and I held it up to a window and I traced around her and I traced the areas of the shadow along her face too because I was thinking I wanted to do some kind of a collage. So as you can see, um, you know, if that's something you guys want me to go more into detail, let me know down below and I can create a whole separate video for that. But this is just what I'm going to do. So I put pastel on the back and I'm tracing it again, just kind of the outline area on to the page and making sure it goes through. I'm not sure how I want to go about this yet, but I figure just get started and then see where um, I decide to go from there, where the intuition calls. So I'm just kind of laying her on here and just mapping out the major areas, you know, the, the major landmarks on the face, where the eyes are, the pupils, the nose, eyebrows, of course, um, lips. Um, I'm not going to go into too much of the details of the other stuff yet. So there, she's kind of there. It's not big. But then I decided I actually want to draw her on this map paper. So I'm going to repeat the same thing, but this time I'm going to use um, some graphite paper, which is wonderful. It's a great way to uh, transfer your designs over, and I've used it before in a couple of videos. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing here just trace around her. I just want to do the outside because I'm going to cut her out. I will probably still sort of do um, the eyes and everything so I have an idea of where to lay that stuff out. Just the nose there. Just kind of the same thing. As you'll see this poor gal's face gets drawn on quite a bit as we continue with the video. So I'm definitely thinking collage, collage elements right now. So I'm going to cut this girl out. Um, we'll speed this up a little bit because nobody has time to just watch that. And now I'm going to line her up with where I drew her on the page. I'm going to grab some matte medium and just go to town getting her glued down. Now that we have her all glued in and I cut around the outside of the page, we're going to play with those uh, coffee crystals. So I'm just going to plop them into a cute little jar I have here. I'm going to spray some water in there, not too much because I kind of want to have a dark brown color. Grab a paintbrush and I'm just going to go ahead and paint over the entire face. And this hasn't been prepped at all, so it is going to soak up that color into the paper. Um, I have no idea how this is going to take because I don't really know what kind of paper this is, but we're just playing. That's the name of the game, right? Just play and have fun. So once that's on there, we will go ahead and give it a good dry and then move on to our next step. So I have all these amazing collage bits that Laura gifted me this month. And what I've decided to do is take my graphite paper 
and I'm just going to trace each little bit of the face and then we're going to glue it on. So it's kind of be a hodgepodge of a mess. Of course, I can never find my pencil when I need it. It's always around, right? So I'm going to make this one the nose. I'm kind of guessing where I want that to go. And then we will just cut out our little nose piece. It's going to be kind of like a face puzzle. Like I love the way faces map out when I'm drawing them. And it just kind of dawned on me, oh my God, I made her face a map and now we're putting these puzzle pieces together. So this is gonna be lots and lots of fun today. And I'm super excited to have you guys join me. So I'm gonna speed up a bit of this because it really does get tedious. It did take, I would say probably start to finish about an hour. Um, of course, I'm not gonna make you like sit through all of that. That would just be painful. Um, so I will speed this up, but I'm just gonna show you here. This is what I'm doing. I grab a piece, I take my graphite paper, and I trace on what I want that piece to be. So now I'm just tracing on the sclera, the um, white part of the eye, and I'll cut that out. And then I'm going to be using my glue stick and gluing the pieces down um, with each layer. So um, enjoy the process and I'll pop back in or put a prompt on the screen if there's something, you know, a little um, tidbit that I wanna share with you as the process unfolds. Now that we have all the collage elements in place, I'm gonna just go ahead and take a layer of matte medium and put it over the top to make sure everything is nice and secure. I'm also not sure how I want to implement that graphite um, water soluble stick. So this will give us a good layer in case um, we want to move it around and smudgy and get all great. So this is a little bit of a thicker layer than normal. I got a little carried away, but you know, whatever. So make sure it's really dry before moving on to the next step. Now we wanna work on our background. And for this, I'm just gonna take some black here, and I thought that would help make her face pop um, using that the black background and uh, kind of dull, like dull down the chaos. So I'm taking the black here, and it just, it wasn't doing it for me, and then I thought, oh, I have this coffee over here, so I just dripped a little bit of the black paint inside the coffee. So now it's integrating both the coffee and the black paint, which is giving us this luscious, um, deep coloring and the texture is fantastic. It's not really picking up on camera, but I'm loving how it's looking. I'm making sure all of that white is covered and just getting in there with all of that texture. So I'm just kind of dabbing it on um, and then we'll have to wait for that to dry. But I just realized I forgot to put her eyebrows on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those babies glued on. 
Um, I'm also going to use my paintbrush here. This is a great way to kind of help line things up. Um, also, I will uh, pull up the journal to look at it from different angles to make sure that everything is kind of in the right placement. So as you can see here, just I gotta love that glue stick. It gives you a little bit of time to kind of maneuver. So I'm just making sure things line up. Um, you don't have to be as careful or futzy, but you know, that's just how I roll. So once we have that, we will get this really good and dry and move on to the next step, which is our graphite. So I showed you a Lyra in the beginning, but I have these Derwent Graphitones. Um, I played with these. Well, actually, I didn't play with them, but I watched Laura play with them at Nicole's house. We had a little play date, and I was like, what? I need to play with those. I love that they have a um, thinner profile and um, you can get it to more of a point to play with so that is what I'm playing with here today and all of the stuff that I use I will link down in the description box below if you are interested in checking that out so after I was playing I realized you know what I don't like her eyebrows green they should match her hair like you know most normal people's so I am peeling these off ever so carefully and replacing them and oh I am much happier with that look now so I'm just gluing those back on and again with any kind of collage thing like this you can just kind of go you know as the layers take you thank goodness I didn't have uh, the green ones down before I met medium but I could always glue over top of them so no biggie no biggie at all I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this process again so we're not here all day I'm just gonna continue using this and then also bring in some white gel pen I will list what I'm using on the screen if I change and I haven't told you what I'm using so um, enjoy this fun little process as we kind of bring this collage girl to life
just adding a couple little finishing touches. It's kind of hard to picture on camera. I'll hold it up a little bit closer, but there's some of the reflection from the matte medium on there. But you can see all the texture and the collage elements, and I think she came together um, quite beautifully. It's like way out there for me, um, you know, just kind of letting go of some of those minute details. But I really love, um, you know, the the craziness of it so i'm just adding a couple little extra hints here but again if you want to play along with us be sure to use the mixed media menagerie hashtag over on instagram so that we can see your work and you'll also get put into this month's drawing for the ephemera pack which i will be sending out to our lucky winner thanks you guys so much for hanging out with us today mad love's going out to you all and don't forget to check out laura and nicole's channel until next time happy creating